Hi everybody, welcome to my art channel. My name is Soraya. Now I wanted to show you this gorgeous piece. I love it. It is a commission and it's for a, a lovely young friend of mine. Um, she loves to travel. She's got a kind heart and she's got this gorgeous, gorgeous smile. So when she wanted one of my paintings, I was thrilled and honored. And um, throughout the video, I do have comments so you can understand kind of my thought process and why I do what I do. So check it out, keep watching. All right, so today is a 36 by 36 inch gallery wrapped canvas. It's 91 centimeters square. And I have very basic colors. This is a beautiful navy color um, that has a tinge of purple in it. And uh, white and 24 karat gold. I had a pretty good idea of how I wanted this painting to look like and I love the color combinations, the white against the navy blue and the gold. It's beautiful. So once I do start blowing it out, it's important for me to work towards the vision that I have. I sing next. All you need is love from ba -dum -ba -dum. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love is all. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. And one thing you should know is that I did talk to my client about what she wanted, um, how she envisioned it herself as well. She has seen my work and of course loves my work and, um, and so we talked about uh, how this was going to look and uh, specifically the colors as well. Sometimes when there's a lot of paint, um, it can puddle and then it uh, becomes very busy. To me, it becomes very busy looking. And the more you blow it out, the more colors blend together. So you do kind of have to have that idea. Uh, why I, I always say, um, have that vision in your head so that you're working towards it and not going overboard with how much you're blowing. I love this color combo and I think it's because three colors really works well together. I have done uh, paintings in the uh, recent past where I am um, using quite a few colors. It is a lot more difficult to work that way. As a beginner, if you're new, uh, and even if you're not, it's better to start with three colors. If in the end you don't like the way it looks and you want more color, you can always add color after it dries. And that's where I call the enhancement part of the painting. You can change it up by adding color very, very easily. So I'm adding some white and gold to this area because there wasn't really a defined area. It wasn't clear that this was the focal point and you got to make sure that there is one place where your eye lands. Okay, 
so am I ever relieved because I do love it and I hope she loves it too. So many beautiful, beautiful details. I'm going to show you um, from my side as well. Just one second. Here it is from my side. It's gorgeous. I'm standing on a stool as high as I can <laughs> so you can see. Look at the detail. The detail is what's gorgeous. Really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Love this. So I'm going to let it dry. I'll be back here in just one second to show you exactly what it looks like dry. So here's the painting outside all dried up and I do love it. Now I oriented it this way. That made the most sense for me. But as an abstract, it can be done anyway. But look at this gorgeous, gorgeous detail here. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, enhance it at all. I just love it. Um, maybe I will. Just to bring down some of the white from there, lower down. But I have to think about it. So just stick with me one second and see if I do or not. <laughs> So to bring down that white, I'm going to use Amsterdam's Titanium White. That's the same color that I used in the painting itself. I think this part here is a good place to start. that balanced out what was here this is the focal point right here and although I love the drama of this I think I'm going to bring down some of the white And I'm connecting that to what I just created. Same thing with this area here. I like all the little dots here. So I'm not going to be covering those up. All of that was from just that one little paint, little bit of paint that I got. Now it's dry. I'm going to get some more. And here is the amount I get. Just little amounts. Okay. So I love this area here and the little dots again, but I'm gonna connect this a little bit more.
Now this area here also looks very dark, but I love the little dots again. I think I'm not gonna touch those. So I'm just gonna play with the lines that are already there. Cut my finger. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna just add Just to break up that big black or dark, it's not black, it's dark blue. Just to break it up a little bit. Same with down here. like this area it is a bit too dark just gonna add a little something right here just very loosely light touch and then deposit more color more white it's no color just the white as you get closer down here feather it in Let the brush do the work. So here it is. It didn't need a lot of enhancement. I just thought it was so beautiful to begin with. Um, you saw exactly what I did. I didn't do anything more than what you saw and how I commented on uh, each section as I was working on it. Um, I'll have some close-up images coming up, so check those out. Here's the detail and some of the details that I embellished. Not too many. Like I said, it didn't need it. It's absolutely beautiful. I hope she likes it. And click on the link you see now to see more of my enhanced pores.